El Hamidi is a player who has been at Moor Farm and Derby County before during the administration season. Now, is this an opportunity for Derby County to reinforce their forward line with the Ipswich Town forward? I personally believe it absolutely could be. Now, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the notification bell, and drop a ram in the comments for the sake of engagement. And if you haven't done so already, check out my gaming and Formula 1 channel linked down in the description. But shall we get in to why El Hamidi should be joining Derby County? Now, as it was widely reported across the course of the summer, Derby County held an interest in the Ipswich Town forward El Hamidi. Now, Obviously, some of you may know, some of you may not know, El Hamidi was at Derby County on trial with the under-21s during our administration season where he performed to a reasonable level and I believe if he wasn't in administration, he probably would have signed a deal with our academy. However, since then, he's gone on from strength to strength, spending time at Wimbledon and at the latest at Ipswich. And he is obviously now considered a Premier League player and he has played with the likes of Caden Jackson and Marcus Harness in the past couple of seasons. Now, obviously... When you look at this deal on paper right now, it cannot happen. We know it can't happen due to Derby County's uh, squad registration fees. But if we look at El Hamidi in a little bit more detail, 22 years old, currently at Ipswich, his contract expires in 2028. Now, in my personal opinion, I can't see this being a permanent deal if it is to go, if it is to happen, if interest is to be reignited. I personally believe it will potentially be a loan deal in which we could potentially see one of our current loan signings go back to their parent club. In my opinion, it will probably be to Wanda Chiwa, but we'll have to see what happens. There obviously is obviously a situation where Derby County could have more than five loanees, but they can only use five in a single match day squad. Now, when we look at El Hamidi this season, he's made five appearances, totaling 119 minutes, one goal and two yellows. Now, that's not even two games worth of match, and that isn't okay for a player of this calibre. Now, Obviously, in the summer, Ipswich Town spent a ton of money bringing in Liam Delap. So, it was always expected that Al Hamidi probably wouldn't get the game time that he anticipated when he first joined Ipswich Town. They obviously have a range of other forwards as well who can play in that position. And obviously, Liam Delap's recent form is obviously the form that is keeping Al Hamidi out of the team. Now, this is the reason why I think a loan deal could potentially be on the cards in January. You look at the appearances, he's not made many. And that's one way you think a player of his calibre could potentially be getting frustrated with that and could potentially sort of go up to the manager and go, well, hang on a minute, I know you're not going to play me, so let's bring in, let's let me go, let's let me go and play football so I can still develop so that maybe next season you can play me, I can be your starting striker, things like that. And that is what I think could happen with Al Hamidi this season. Now, if you do go back to the summer, if you have not done so already, make sure you check out Kitbag down in the description. They've got tons of sales on right now for all of your favourite clubs and sporting wear. As you can see, Derby County have sales on as well, so make sure you head on over to Kitbag. The website link will be down in the description. Make sure you make the most of the 50% off that is going on right now. Use code SCORE at checkout for a potential extra discount. I'll let you now get back to the video. It was always a talking point for Derby County of bringing in a striker. The only one we brought in was Jerry Yates. And then obviously you've got Dejon Brown stepping up to the first team. And the likes of Connor Washington and James Collins in there as well. And ultimately I believe James Collins and Connor Washington will move on. Whether it will be in January or in the summer, I do think they'll move on. And I think this is an excellent opportunity to move one of them on now towards the January period. And I think when you look at the striker department... Yes, James Collins is experienced, but he's coming towards the end of his career. Yes, Jerry Yates is a very good striker. He's done very well so far for Derby County. But ultimately, a big problem for Derby County is that he can't play versus Swansea. And the backup options we have, in my opinion, aren't up to the standard of Jerry Yates and don't have the experience and know-how of professional football when it comes to the likes of Dejon Brown. Obviously, James Collins has the experience and know-how, but cannot do the things that Jerry Yates can do. Now... What type of deal would I expect this to be? Now, I think it's a pretty obvious uh, situation that it would be a loan deal. With, obviously, his contract not expiring until 2028, it provides that question of, a, would a permanent deal even be affordable? And in my personal opinion, in our current circumstance, unless we are to get investment over the next four weeks, I can't see Derby County being in a position where they can spend a couple of million quid bringing in another player. Obviously, we did it with Zeta Strom. I think it works out at 2.2 if we hit all the targets for add-ons and things like that. Kenzo was only £600,000. Eber Adams was £500,000 rising to a million. We've not spent a great deal of money. And 
That is why I think this would be a loan deal at best. And I think we have a perfect opportunity to bring him in by using the links that we already have with uh, Ipswich through the Marcus Harness deal and through bringing in Caden Jackson this summer. Now, obviously, Al Hamidi still has a lot to prove in his career. He's obviously scored a ton of goals, he's played a ton of games, but ultimately, he's struggling for game time now. And that is what he needs, in my opinion, to progress himself further on in his career. And maybe he could end up like a Liam Delap, having a wonderful Premier League season in a year or two's time. But ultimately, to develop, he probably needs the game time. And I can't see him getting that unless Delap picks up an injury over the next couple of weeks, which keeps him out for an extended period of time. Now, do I think this deal will be one that Derby County get done early on in the window? Probably not. Now, the reason why I don't think it'll be an early deal for Derby or Ipswich or any club who potentially go after Al Hamidi is because of that situation of it being a loan deal. I think when you look at loan deals in the past, mainly they happen towards the end of the January transfer window. And when we speak about the likes of Ibu Adams, who we bought in, in uh, the January window of this season, just gone, where we got promoted from uh, League One, it was a very late deal, mid to late January, where that deal happened. And it really only happened as quickly as it happened was because uh, he was returning from injury and Cardiff City didn't really want him and that's why we ended up signing him on a permanent in the summer. Now, do I think that any deal for Al Hamadi could be done in a way in which Derby County could sign him permanently in the future? Now, in my opinion, I don't think it would be a loan with obligation or a loan with uh, the opportunity to even buy. Um, I think it could potentially open the door for a future transfer if, say, uh, after this season, another year goes by and he struggles for minutes at Ipswich, that could potentially open the door. But in my opinion, a lot of Derby County's transfer business purely depends on, uh, obviously, the status of the club, league status, whether we stay in the Championship or if we go down to the League One again. Obviously, at the moment, we look as if we're going to stay in the Championship, but we are only in November. There's a lot of season left to go and we're coming into one of the busiest periods where, coming to the end of December, we'll know whereabouts Derby County is shaking up to be. And... I think where we are come January 1st will open a lot of doors for what we do in the January window. And I also think it may even open the pockets and open the wallet of those at the higher ups in Derby County to potentially help Derby push on to be more comfortable in the division. We obviously know that Paul Warren's done a good job so far in keeping Derby in and around mid-table. I think we're currently sitting in 11th place as I'm recording this video and it could be an absolute wonderful deal for Derby County if they can bring in Al Hamidi and secure an extra option up top where we could potentially go to a 4-4-2 with 3-5-2 with two experienced strikers leading the line rather than uh, Jerry Yates and a learning Dejan Brown now ultimately I don't believe Dejan Brown has had enough minutes so far uh, this season and is a player who I would look to send out on loan during the January window but obviously that would all come with being able to bring in another striker which is why I do believe that interest in Alhamidi could be reignited in this January window and I do think that the likes of Connor Washington, Tom Barkazen and even Sonny Bradley could potentially be up for leaving the club this uh, this January window. Uh, you look at the lone player in Tawanda Chiwa, I think he could potentially go back to Wolves as well. Obviously with limited game time because of his injury record so far. But obviously a lot of this could all change over the course of the next few weeks. A couple of injuries completely changes the look of the squad depth chart and a returning Jake Rooney and things like that to add to the squad. And it's going to be interesting to see what does happen. Now, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on that notification bell to stay tuned for all of my latest Derby County and EFL content on the channel so far. Obviously, if you haven't done so already, check out my other channels down in the description. Gaming videos coming out daily over there as well as Formula 1 videos every couple of days. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, drop a ram in the comments for the sake of engagement. And I'll catch you in my next video.